it where this is. girl is so excited to go to the dog park should i just turn this off for now up to you oh okay i'm already recording oh, okay <laughs> i didn't know if you're gonna record now or later yeah hi baby you ready to go to the dog park we're gonna walk all the way up so you can get your exercise so we're here at savita we are taking dax to walk we try to go here every every saturday or sunday there's a there's a farmer's well, market going on right now and uh, i think i'm gonna get my my weekly dumpling you ready for this yeah we're gonna walk all the way up to the dog park which is pretty far up there's a lot of stairs that we have to go up so we have to carry her at one point but it'll be good exercise for her i'll take you guys there i love i love sabita because it's like a master plan um community yeah a lot of people come here to walk very scenic a lot of plants <laughs> yep a lot of dogs <laughs> A lot, a lot of, of places to have a little party, outdoor party, picnic. Exercise, there's a lot of people exercising here. Yeah, there's like outdoor like Zumba that people do. Um, there's also playground for kids. Here's oh. our first dog interaction today. <laughs> Just say hi. Say good morning. This is the entrance to Savita. I love it. I, I want to one day maybe live here. If not, maybe near here. I think we just had to make a couple grand to live out here, but <laughs> it's good to come by, yeah. get some inspiration. Well, I'm glad that it's open to the public. Yeah. Because then even though we're not residents here, we can still enjoy it. Yeah. And then our <laughs> puppy can run and run. And then there's a dog park. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it. There's a dog park. Off-leash dog off, park. Yeah, off-leash dog park that we can, we're getting about to go to. But it's, a, it's quite a walk, maybe like a mile. But it's good because it's good that she's smelling all the smells because eventually she'll get desensitized to all of it and she's just gonna walk past everything. Mm -hmm. She's like, I wanna smell everything. I know. <laughs> we got puppy classes later today. We also have our groomers to, uh, later. It's a jam, jam packed day for uh, our baby here. <laughs> yes. So right now we are walking up this pathway in Savita. Relatively warm right now um, and cold. There's like a cold breeze. The air feels cold, but it's just gonna get warm real quick. <laughs> this one's in a full sweatsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I always do this because I don't want to be cold. The thing is with San Diego, the attire is all the time shorts, a sweater if it's actually cold, and a t-shirt. It shouldn't, it shouldn't be anything else. She got a full sweatsuit. I always do this. I gotta, I gotta practice. I used to be super fit. The years are catching up to me. What a journey. So this is the famous tunnel here in Savita. Don't mind my heavy breathing. As you no. saw, we just walked up that whole flight <laughs> of stairs. This girl still got energy. Well, she didn't have to walk up the stairs. <laughs> super echoey in here. Hello. Oh, look, there's the Argus right there. Kevin Anderson. 2018? Wow. I didn't know this thing was here in 2018 already. Go Papa. Go Papa. The girl. <laughs> here. Oh my gosh, she gets fat. Oh, she just hit my knee. Cardex. Go to mama. Oh my gosh, look at this girl. Oh, woohoo. Yeah, baby. Here you go, Papa. Go, Papa. <laughs> it's so weird she doesn't run in a straight line hey girl <laughs> ah! Ah! oh hi baby girl she's on my lap hi baby we finally are leaving the small dog park um, we're gonna head all the way back down the girl probably got like a little over an hour's worth of running around off leash so that's great there were some pups that came 
she played around with a little bit but other than that she kind of wanted to be by herself that was our cue to go it's almost 10 o'clock so we're gonna head back down this is the view from the top of the tunnel area i didn't realize that big swimming pool swimming pool yeah right there oh yeah right there swimming pool they have solar panels too look yeah i'm sure that's a residence thing yeah yeah you ready to go seems like she's ready to go uh i have to carry her down all these stairs yes please carry her that's yeah. the view though yep this is the view and all of those areas are picnic areas it's very crazy and then there's just complexes around this whole area it's crazy come on let's go down dex it's very easy dex going down is easier Ooh, made it we made it to the bottom now she's all good <laughs> all right just say hi <laughs> <laughs> Aww. So cute. Oh. Come on. So we're here at the farmer's market. There's a lot of food vendors. There's also people who sell stuff that they've made. Fresh groceries like vegetables, plants. It's a pretty good size, decent size farmer's market, I would say. Yeah. And then this house of bao is where Honey usually gets his dumplings. Yeah, so good. You ready to get your food? Yep. Uh, Kajolder. Alrighty. So we're here walking through the mall. Want to take a picture with the Grinch? Oh my gosh, I'm... You know, when I was a kid, I was so scared. Of the Grinch? I was, I was so scared of the Grinch. Come on, Dax. Let's go. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, yeah, look. There's right there. Santa Paws Mega Pet Adoption. Oh, my gosh. Let me get the sign real quick. Oh, look. There's Winter Wonderland. Oh. Wow, I didn't even know we were doing all this. Nice. This is what's going on this month, guys. So if you want to check out Grossmont, it's going to be a fun time. So we've been walking around for a little bit and there definitely is a lot of dogs up for adoption right now. It's like a super mega event right now. Like almost the entire mall strip has um, pens full of dogs from puppies to older dogs to disabled dogs, like you name it. She's smelling so much smells. So that's why she's overstimulated right now. Yeah. So we have to hold her. Yeah. Or else she won't move at all. Yeah, she'll stay frozen, so. All right, we just took a quick little snack break. Unfortunately, I was not able to buy actual food because when I inquired about the my onion allergy and like how they handle onions and stuff, they said it's really hard to, um, you know, not have contact with onions because a lot of their dishes have onions to begin with. So they didn't want to risk it. So I was like, okay, never mind, it's fine. That's like the hardest thing about having like all these allergies is that it's hard to figure out like where to eat. If you really had to like eat out, like let's say today, we're like kind of go, go, go today. And we're going from one place to another and we have to eat because it's time to eat. It's really hard to figure out where to get food because a lot of these places, they don't have the ability to be able to separate foods and allergens. So what do I eat? I, I literally had what's these pretzels. Like that. I mean, grateful that I was able to eat something, but it's still very hard to just 
eat a proper meal when I need to. So let me know how you guys handle this. If you guys have an onion allergy, let me know what you guys do when you eat out. Okay, now we're at Petco. We're going to attend Dexie's puppy class. We missed last week, so we have to do a makeup class for whatever they learned last time. Um, but this girl is probably knocked out. I can't really see. I think she moved a little bit right now, but she's probably pissed because she's like, I thought I could take a nap right now, but nope, not, not right now, Dex. Sorry, we gotta do a few more things and then we'll go home then give you a bath which you hate oh wait no she has um, a bath right now at 1 30 she has an appointment for the grooming so we're gonna take her to that and then afterwards she can chill yeah please hey guys let's get the going